the major reason was uh, the course that he got into elemental energy was at Northwestern University, which is even smaller as compared to what Magdeburg is. Now, Magdeburg offers a lot of other courses as well, which are English taught programs. And one of the, uh, let's say, a suitable course for any mechanical engineering background is yeah. this. Hi, everyone. Anshul here from RK Overseas Education. And uh, today I am at Magdeburg. I am meeting one of our students, uh, Akhilesh. Uh, he is now pursuing a uh, master's in chemical and energy engineering from OVG in Magdeburg. And it's been quite late uh, since we uh, reached here to, to Magdeburg. It's almost 7 p.m. now. And uh, he was quite generous to cook uh, chapatis and stuff for us. <laughs> so we just had our uh, dinner at the moment. And then I requested Akhilesh that say discuss some topics uh, about his study, uh, how is the course, and then what are the possibilities of future perspective in terms of job as well as uh, the, the course module that he's studying at the moment at OBGU Magdeburg. So I'll, I'll request Akhilesh to give a small uh, introduction first and then uh, we'll discuss about it. So thank you very much Akhilesh mm -hmm. for giving us the time and for the dinner as well. Uh, can you please like give a short uh, introduction of yours? Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Akhilesh. I'm from uh, Kambator. I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering and uh, currently I'm pursuing my master's in OBGU in uh, chemical and energy engineering. So, I first uh, got to know them by a friend and uh, everything was smooth there and now I have reached here. So, like, I have been here for more than a month. It feels good here. The opportunities are more here when you compare to other cities and all. Like, uh, everything is easily available and uh, compared to other states in Germany, this uh, is much cheaper for coming to a student's perspective right so now the question i wanted to ask you from akhilesh like uh, because akhilesh has a background in mechanical engineering right? yeah. you have a, a be right yeah. from india bachelor's of engineering, bachelor's of engineering. Mm -hmm. now since you had a mechanical engineering background now like an obvious reason from your perspective that why did you wanted to come to germany and not any other uh, country yeah basically from an younger age i had a perspective like uh, i wanted to do something in automobile mostly and uh, everybody knows Germany is the hub, like almost a monopoly in automobile. Yeah. So I wanted to do my master's here mostly. So that's why I chose Germany. Fine. Now, let's suppose like uh, he had an aspiration to come to an automobile engineering sort of a program. But as I, as I mentioned earlier also in a lot of videos that the, the exact program into automotive engineering or automobile engineering is very limited to a very few universities. Hardly three or four of them have this program in English taught. Uh, programs as well as the requirements are quite tough. Now when we process the application for Achilles as well, we, we tried let's suppose if somehow we can manage to get into automotive engineering as well as to electromobility as well yeah. in, in FAU and Allegan. But then uh, we got the admission, uh, like you got admission into renewable energy as well, right? Yes. And then this one, uh, this uh, chemical yeah. energy engineering. Now could you like give an answer like rather than opting for renewable energy, what was the reason you opted for this OVG or Magdeburg course? So compared to that, I finalized that OVGU is much bigger university and uh, I have more scope of changing a course here after coming here since you already told that yeah. I am a mechanical engineering student and uh, this course actually feels quite different. It is morely of a chemical background. So, but in here we have more options for changing the course also. There is a course for uh, called systems system. of uh, systems engineering for manufacturing that requires IELTS of seven. Okay. So uh, we can finish the credits in the previous semester and we can transfer the credits also. And also there is a possibility for changing the universities in the summer intake even if we are coming here. Like if we find a better program, we can definitely change. Compared to applying from India, uh, after coming here, it is much easier because we'll get to know a lot of things and uh, we get lots of exposure after coming here. Right. So, uh, let's suppose he mentioned that uh, see, the major reason was uh, the course that he got into elemental energy was at Northwestern University, which is even smaller as compared to what Magdeburg is. Now, Magdeburg offers a lot of other courses as well, which are English taught programs. And one of the, uh, let's say, a suitable course for any mechanical engineering background is yeah. the system engineering, uh, master in system engineering uh, course in OGU Magdeburg. Now, I also came to know from him that uh, last time when we visited Magdeburg, I had made a video with, along with Ayush, uh, who was also pursuing the same course what Akhilesh is pursuing, and now he shifted to system engineering. He transferred his grade points and got into the, the course which is more suitable for, let's say, mechanical engineering student, which is what, like, let's say, Akhilesh is also planning. However, <coughs> as he mentioned, when you come to Germany, uh, like, 
either he can wait for the next uh, winter intake to apply for or to change the course else he can also plan to apply for the summer 25 intake which is the upcoming intake right mm -hmm. And the reason why it becomes easier to change the university here because when you're already in, in Germany, when you send the application to the university and you write an email to them telling them that, okay, I'm already studying a particular university. Somehow the university also understand that the, the visa process for you is not required at all. And if you fulfill the requirements, you will always have a better chance of getting admitted as compared to the fresh applicants uh, who are applying from India itself. So that is also a good option. Now, let's suppose I also wanted to, uh, because uh, I wanted to discuss about the, the profile that is required to be basically get into the public universities and since Akhilesh got into two public universities and eventually chose for Magdeburg, uh, Akhilesh can you please tell us like your academy background and a bit of uh, your like, professional background as well. Yeah, so I had a bachelor's degree in mechanical and my score was 8.5 okay. in uh, India and uh, converting to VPD here like the GPA I have here is 1.8. Okay. The basic requirement is like we have to have an equivalent of 2.5 here comparing to India and uh, basic score of IELTS of 6.5 is okay but if you have 7 that is we get more universities and uh, I got two public universities one is Nordhausen and one is OVGU Magdeburg the reason I chose uh, OVGU Magdeburg is I have more uh, options here when I come here yeah, compared yeah. to Nordhausen so if at all if this course doesn't work I can uh, probably have a backup of systems engineering which I can uh, yeah. do my uh, studies in the next semester even if I'm not enrolled to that course and I can probably transfer the credits which I have finished in that right so like his like equivalent German grade that Akhilesh had was uh, 1.8 no? I mean the VPD means that you when you send the application to UNSS they give you an evaluation of the uh, the marks that you are securing as per the German grading system from your bachelor's university which is a very uh, decent grade I would say no? 1.8 is a, is a decent enough grade now in some of the universities the requirement for IELTS are 7 as well uh, in which if, if someone has a 7 uh, bands in IELTS you can apply to more number of universities but uh, since the score was 6.5 we had to only apply to those universities who, who have 6.5 bands of requirement in IELTS else uh, who, are asked, who are okay with MOI like the minimum instruction certificate uh, of your bachelor's university. Uh, now tell me at least like one question I had in mind because you, you did not learn German language before yeah. coming here right? Are you facing any difficulties that you, know, you have not learned German language? Yeah, it is obviously because like uh, most of the people here speaks only German. Some people know English like uh, when we are going in uh, like in public areas like banks and all. They speak English and uh, even in train stations also some people may speak English but most of them are uh, speaking only German. So obviously it is a big what is it drawback for me and uh, maybe I'll... I'll, I'll have to learn in the future. Of course. So, of course, like, I mean, he's also already started uh, learning German language yeah. because that is any or very much required. And how are the classes like, uh, uh, like, the, the, can you tell me about the, the professors who are teaching you mm -hmm. and the lecturers who are giving, because it's a completely English taught program. Yes. So, is it like, do they also include some German even though it's an English taught program or, or it is completely in English? No, it is completely in English, but uh, everyone are Germans mostly but they speak English and uh, compare uh, coming to lectures it is at first it will be very difficult to understand because they have a different handwriting okay. they have uh, like the presentation of numbers is very different here they will have they write only what they are taught so we they will not be writing the numericals which we learned in India they will be writing what they are being taught in here okay so everything will be different but uh, once we understand what they are teaching and uh, then everything will be smooth, I guess. It will take some time around one to two weeks of uh, adapting to German yeah, exams exactly. and all. Yeah. The teaching methods. So, uh, finally, like, are you happy that you are you are now at Magdeburg? Are you satisfied with the, the institute that we opted for? Yeah, I am very much happy that I am here at least. Like. Uh, here if I <laughs> <laughs> if I had missed this and uh, I was sitting back, then I wouldn't have any option. So uh, I'm happy that I'm here. So tell me, like, uh, uh, because we also process the visa application for you. Yeah. So how did you find like uh, the complete overall? Let's say if you want to give us a feedback about the visa process and everything, mm -hmm. like, what would you want to say about it? 
yeah visa process was very smooth for me actually like uh, i'm not sure i i haven't faced any difficulty for the visa process it was very smooth i uh, i got my visa within 4 days i guess so everything went well with the visa okay. i i have one thing to say about this because i remember like when we process your visa application at the date of appointment itself we did not have the block on confirmation yeah right now this is also astonishing to understand that Chennai consulate have processed the visa application for us in in hardly four or five days. Four days. Four days. Four days. And when he went to the visa application, uh, the embassy itself, uh, he did not have the block account confirmation, yeah. right? However, we we do had the transfer receipt that we have transferred the funds to the block account people, and on that basis, the the consulate were again very generous. They they told him that uh, you can submit the confirmation as soon as you receive uh, yes. from the block account company, and he submitted the the block account confirmation the very next day. I yes, believe, right? I received the confirmation next next day. day. So, and he sent them on email, and then uh, the consulate took hardly like two three days. More uh, to to give him the visa, which is uh, very let's say uh, surprising for us also yes. to to get uh, these things sorted, right? So uh, again, so thank you so much, uh, Akhilesh, yeah, uh, for giving the inputs and telling us everything about your your uh, studying in in Magdeburg as yeah. well as your accommodation as well. Uh, if you also are planning to pursue your masters from Germany or perhaps bachelor studies from Germany, and that too, if you're targeting only the public universities, uh, we'll be happy to guide you. You can contact us uh, through the comments. You can always uh, call us. You can email us and we'll be happy to assist you so thank you so much for watching the video